we are building a keyboard today. It is the KB Fans Tiger 80. I'm pretty stoked about it. That's literally just because it is aluminum. Here's the little carrying case that it comes with. Okay, so obviously I did get purple version. There's a side profile. There's that little embass. You're replacing your keyboard then? Kind of. I'm using my kale box blacks that I had from an old keyboard build, but I also do have more switches coming in. It's a Duroc L1s. I, I'm kind of replacing this board. I'm taking the keycaps off and putting my old keycaps on. So this does come with some tape that we can use to put on the bottom of the PCB. This is a polycarbonate plate. It's just really, really flexy as you can see. It's So this will be a lot bouncier typing feel, which will be fun. And then these little tabs right here is where the gasket mounts go. It's like little socks. I'll show you in a second. It does come with uh, PE foam, which is super thin. Oh my God. But that's this is what makes the poppy sound that you usually see in custom keyboards, which is really, really cool. Plate foam, which I intend to put all of these in. We'll go like this. It'll be over. Here's the PCB. Um, we will need to test it first before we do anything. It has flex cuts. Um, so that means it's a little bit more flexy, um, as you can see, kind of a little bit right there. So let's go ahead and test this. So PCB is working. Next, we will need stabilizers. This is one of the parts that is included with this. Um, these, we need to clip these, which are the little, little thingies. Those, you know what I mean. Okay, clipped. Right now I'm just lubing stabilizers to make it a little bit more smooth and not rattly, which is the bane of ev every single keyboard enthusiast's dreams, is rattle. And the reason why is it just doesn't sound good. That is one part of a stabilizer done, right there. The next part is obviously the other side, which I will do. That is a fully lubed and prepared stabilizer. You can go more. Um, I'm choosing not to um, because I will be taking this apart later on. Um, don't worry about that <laughs> little battery over there. Um, that doesn't mean anything. This keyboard comes with a very, very thin PCB. And for those who don't know what a PCB is, it's basically the main brains of the board. It connects every switch um, and therefore communicates with your computer, basically saying, hey, A was pressed or hey, enter was pressed or whatever. Um, this keyboard or this PCB is very, very thin and it doesn't have to do with the flex cuts that you see over there. The lines that you see in the PCB, that those are flex cuts, right? It doesn't have to do with those. Um, it has to do with the actual thickness of it. The thickness of the PCB is a 1.2 millimeter, which is a lot thinner than most. That's literally just because people want a more flexy board. This is a beginner board, and most beginners do, like myself, uh, want to see that flexy and experience that. So because the PCB is so thin, we need to add uh, stabilizer shims. I don't have any space bars, by the way. Who needs space bars? Actually, though, seriously. Um, no, I think this is a 7.25. Let me double check. It's a 7U. This is a 7U. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't hit the, the stabilizers, unfortunately. So it's all right, but it's, it's sick. Why do I have a brown? <laughs> Why do I have a, a stray kale box brown? <laughs> okay, um, before I start putting this in, I think I'm gonna um, test it first because that's smart. So I need why? Oh, they're indicator lights. That's cool. Where's, where's home row? V. Ah, I am too good. This does come with pre-designed tape. Um, will I ever see this? No, I won't. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the case and put this in. And then we are force breaking these, this keyboard, which for those who don't know, it's basically putting a little something in between whatever is connecting both top and bottom. They're very tall. 
and they slot in just like that. See that right there? Um, that is gasket mounting, kind of. Um, it's This is what's seen on the Jelly Epoch and the Mr. Suit, um, which are two very notorious uh, good sounding keyboards. Um, and this is part of the reason why they sound so good. The other part that I know of is that PE foam. It was one of the layers that I put in between the plate and the PCB. Hold up my guy, are you from Utah? I am. How did you know? Does does the beard give it away? Uh, if I share your stream on the Discord, sure. Why not? Isn't Apiary from here? Apiary keys? That's crazy. So many, so many content creators. Apiary is local. Uh, we went to Novel Keys Meetup last year together. Oh, that's sick, dude. Oh, if if only I could have gone. I'm in. I was in school. I'm stealing keycaps. I'm a broke college boy. Oh my god. Oh my god, that sounds so good. I'm getting I'm getting a little excited, just a bit. Uh, hey there, Mista. Follow Utah checking in. Yeah, hello, hi. Uh, my claim to fame is I sold Apiary her first keyboard, dude. That's sick. What what keyboard did you sell her? With Getter on Browns, yo. Doggo, do the thing. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Did I did I consent to this? <laughs> Do I need to have my hand over the, <laughs> the the stop stream button? Oh God! Ah! Thank you for the five gifted. Oh my God! To uh, Bluetooth Rex Reggie Extra and Owen. Sure, sure. The Utah peeps show how to give love and ads run. Definitely not planned. Yeah, dude. Um. Jesus. I'll fix that in a second because that does not look. Right. We more need Utah Juniors. Feel more powerful for just being here. Yes. Are you our fellow soul sucking ginger? Someone say Utah. Utah. Utah gamers rise up. Um, this is a cheap keyboard or key set that I found off of Amazon. So don't mind its inconsistencies and incompatibilities. As we know, I cannot do a space bar. I don't know if I can. Uh, for Cowboy Bebop, uh, 11 out of 10 Cowboy er, music taste. Dude, it is it is great music. Key Hive is local to Utah too. I saw that, yeah. And Neflock, photographer, graphic designer for Novel Keys. Dude, that's so cool. I never realized that there were a lot of people in Utah who were actually a part of Mechanical Keyboards. Obviously, like I'm in the keyboard community. I'm in Utah, the most important, of course. Yes, of course, Dago. What's going on in the Tiger 80? And what are the deets on the board you're harvesting keycaps from? Okay. So Tiger 80 is a uh, kind of, it's it's similar to how the Mr. Suit was set up and the little gaskets that go on the sides of um, the the tabs. Um, those are pretty cool. I, I am already feeling the, the softness. It's very flexy um, as you can kind of see on the top. Um, which, uh, that's definitely the opposite of this thing. This is a, um, it's a very generic Tata 68 plastic case with a DZ60 or 65 V2, uh, PCB. This is, it's an aluminum plate, so it's kind of stiff. It's not as stiff as like brass would be, but it's still, you know, um, and then Duroc V2 stabilizers. It's like, uh, the random Frank P it was the novel key silk, but the random Frank P version, I think. How much did you drop on this build? By the way, uh, the build itself or the keyboard, it was, um, $225, um, with plus shipping and taxing, which was probably around 275. Um, and then the keycaps were probably around 25 on Amazon. I bought them a while ago. The kale box blacks are. I want to say they were like fifty dollars for ninety. Um, it's mostly done except for these three and the space bar, which I can't quite get because, as a refresher, this looks good. <clears throat> this this um um this uh, uh yeah. So I need a seven U space bar, which I should have. This is supposed to be a seven. Wait, hold on. This might be a six point five. That's why I was having an issue. Okay, and the space bar. Guys, wait for it. This 
space bar play is it's gonna be so good so incredibly i don't have a space bar I'm, i need to buy a mod kit but oh my god so i ended up getting the space bar that i needed for my keyboard and it looks a lot better now um i showed off to all of my friends uh but let me just show you what it looks like on this specific camera right here and yeah no i'm i'm very happy with the keyboard so far it was nice pbt and canon keys that supplied these um they didn't give it to me at all i just kind of bought them they were cheap so it worked um but yeah damn it okay hold on i need i need help guys i need help um i don't i flashed qmk right and it's just not working i need help so I have I have the the hex file. I put it in DFU mode. I flash it. Didn't work. How do I import it to Via? The only issue is that I can't. Oh, import key map. Okay, okay, it worked. We're good. We're good. It does have a little bit of an angle going down like that um, on the sides, which I'm a fan of. Uh, the USB C is obviously center center mounted. Boy, howdy, is that some flex on that board? Dude, it is a lot. And that's that's mitigated because of the, the foam, too. It's got plate foam and a PE foam. That, yeah, it's it's nice, dude. Um, on Alexdos' uh, video on this, he said it was a lot lighter. Um, this is not light. This is this is a very, very deep. It, it matches the renders, but Alexdos said that his proto... Well, again, it's his was a prototype, so... I guess this is like a gray, uh, or maybe it's a lilac. It's kind of hard to tell. So I'm gonna up the gain. Tell me when it's too much. Anyways, I do I do really really like this board. It is very very nice. It it clacks and clicks well. Okay, cool. I think I'm gonna end stream. That was very very fun. I am tired, <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate everyone coming in and yeah. So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, yeah. Bye.